In Forest Pack 6, the distribution rollout has been overhauled with several new and improved modes. Image-based distribution remains the default, although even here we've added 13 new distribution maps to create more varied scatters. Brand new though is a drop-down menu found at the top of the rollout that allows you to switch to one of three new modes, Path, Reference or Particle Flow. A new Path mode allows you to distribute objects along a spline with controls for adjustable spacing, the ability to offset objects to either side of the spline, or alternatively to place items only on the vertices. Multiple paths can easily be used by adding them to the spline list, and you can choose to randomize the order of items or even create patterns based on their order in the geometry list. You can use all of Forest Pack's existing transform randomization tools in this mode, but when it comes to rotation, you also have the option to automatically align objects so that they follow the direction of the path. The second new mode allows you to place objects on reference markers. Just use the plus button to add reference objects one at a time, or use the multi-select button to select reference objects using Max's Scene Explorer. Items will be scattered either one per individual marker, or one on the center of each face if you're using meshes. You can also choose whether or not you want to align the objects to match the rotation and the scale of the references. Once linked, items are interactively attached to the markers, so if you want to move an object, you just move the marker. Not only is this helpful for fast iteration and art directing images, but for the first time it also makes it possible to animate the transforms of individual objects in a scatter. Completely new to Forest Pack 6 is the ability to use PFLOW as a distribution source, allowing you to combine the unique flexibility of particles with the rendering power of Forest Pack to achieve things that were just not previously possible. To use a PFLOW object as a source, you just click on the plus button to add it to the list. Multiple PFLOW sources can be used in a single Forest Pack object. Animators will be pleased to know that Forest Pack's PFLOW integration supports animated particles, and it's possible to use their scale and orientation information to affect the size and rotation of scattered items. You can even randomize any animation applied to the source objects using Forest Pack's existing animation modes, and use Forest Pack's innovative effects feature to add new tools that use the particle's speed and age to control nearly any of an item's properties.